What's up everybody, it's George here, George's Gadgets, and if you clicked on this video, it's because you're having a kernel panic error with your Raspberry Pi and you can't figure it out. So stick around and we're gonna go over exactly what I did to fix this. Please forgive the fact that this video might seem really choppy and the lighting might change and the scenery might change and everything like that, it's just because I originally was gonna make this one long video for, or sorry, one long video for the Raspberry Pi, and I decided to cut it up because this issue might not apply to everybody. But I hope it helps you if you made it here, if you found this, because I was frustrated for literally two days trying to figure it out. But let me let, me let myself talk, and I'll let past George talk to present you, and uh, we'll get to it. I hope you enjoy. I don't know if anyone's having the same issue or has had the same issue. If you have, please let me know because I struggled with this where I was trying to put Octoprint.14 on an SD card and plug that into the Pi. And every time it got to the point where it was about to boot up, I would get a kernel panic error. And I Googled the crap out of it. I couldn't find it anywhere except for one post on the Git. And basically it was explaining that SanDisks are having that issue and Kingston don't. Well, lo and behold, out of all of the SD cards I had, I didn't have a single Kingston. And I went through all of my SD cards. And then I went out and I went to Walmart and all they carry are SanDisk and Samsung. So I got a Samsung SD card and the same issue happened. And then I went to Best Buy and I got a SanDisk Plus or Ultra Plus or something. I was thinking maybe that would help. Well, it didn't. I sat and I tinkered with it until I finally found setting within the config file where you can go in and you can change the clock speed of the CPU. And I thought, why not? I'll just downclock it because it's a one gigahertz CPU, single core. And I thought maybe if I downclock it, that will help. And it did. So I downclocked it to 800 at first, and then I did 900 and it's kept working. I did 950 and I didn't test it any further past that. So if you were having the same issue with you, what you think is the SanDisk issue, or if it's just having a kernel panic at um, basically the point where it tries to connect to Wi-Fi, try downclocking the CPU. That's something that might work for you. If that's not an issue for you, then don't worry about this at all. If you have a Kingston or if you haven't had this problem, um, just don't sweat it. It's just something that I thought I'd include to let people know if they have that issue. And um, if you know of anyone, please point them to this video. I'd love to help them out. Uh, I just realized that my goofy face is my desktop background. Uh, let's just change that. That's a little better. You guys are stuck with it. That was it, everybody. That's how I fixed it. And I would love to know if it helped you out as well. If you have any issues or if this didn't help you out, still comment. Um, I do my best to get to every single one of the comments that people have posted. And I try my best to, if I don't know the answer, I go and find it or I get somebody who does know it to, to answer it for you. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and come back. Let me know what kind of content you guys wanna see. I'll be putting out more videos uh, in the future. Bye.